Hey guys, Omar here, the Knife Shark Guy, and I am back with yet another Kershaw Discontinued Classic. This time we're looking at the Kershaw Ram 1910, a GNG Hawk design. This knife was released right around 2005 and was discontinued around 2010. So I had a good five-year run. Um, they were still, as far as I know, actually, I think they were still releasing it right, probably right around 2012. Uh, they continued to release it in the uh, red box you guys know so well. Um, so, yeah, that's the uh, Kershaw Ram 1910. So let's go ahead and take a look at this knife. Again, this is a, uh, a classic Kershaw. This knife is very unique in many ways. Uh, the knife was designed again by G and G Hawk. They actually uh, still make knives for Kershaw, um, which brings me to my first topic on the knife, which is this little hawk lock right here. If you can see that, basically this hawk lock here, it doesn't lock the blade close. Okay, it actually uh, allows you to. Uh, lock it it locks it open is what it does so just to make it more clear to you guys instead of saying maybe having a uh, a frame lock knife or a liner lock what they did was they put the lock here on the side so what you have to do is you basically you press down on that and then you can go ahead and close it another feature on the knife is the flipper if you take a look at that on it the flipper is at 90 degree angle i've never seen a knife with a flipper at a 90 degree angle. It's so quick and smooth and fast to open. And it's actually that 90 degree angle that makes it so easy to open. It almost seems like it's a spring assisted blade, but it's not. It's a manual knife that runs on washers. The steel on this knife is 14C28N, which is what most of the knives that Kershaw made around the time, uh, right between 1998 and, uh, yeah, about two. Uh, 2000, uh, sorry, 2010. Um, most of those knives uh, were released. The main steel of choice at that time was a uh, Mol 13. I'm sorry, was a uh, uh, 14 C28N as opposed to uh, Mol 13, which is what most of the uh, the knives that are released by Kershaw are at now. Uh, Sandvik steel is actually a better steel uh, than the Molf, ACR Mol 13 that's available now. Another feature on this knife that makes it even more interesting are the thumb studs. Take a look at that. There's three thumb studs there, guys. Three. Um, and what's great about it is that it actually makes flicking the knife open easier with the three thumb studs. But I think they didn't do it again because I think they thought aesthetically it wasn't very pleasing. And uh, i got to be honest with you. I have to agree. It's not very pleasing. But it does work. You know, it works a lot better than just having one thumb stud. You know, I guess what they could have done was maybe they could have put, like, one long thumb stud, but that would have looked even worse. So they did three. So it's actually six thumb studs, three on both sides of the knife. A little freaky look in there. The entire knife is made of aluminum scales. Okay, it's uh, open construction with just two stands off, standoffs on there. If you can see that. Get the lighting in there. There you go. Two thumb studs on it. The uh, three thumb studs on there. And those are the two main features. The flipper on the knife and the thumb studs are uh, are the main features. Uh, that along, actually it was three, that along with the hawk lock, which had never been seen before. They actually, uh, G&G Hawk actually released another knife. Uh, I believe they released that knife right around 2011, 2012. It's called the Kershaw Induction. With the same hawk lock, they brought it back. Only on the induction, I believe the, the hawk lock is somewhere on the side, way, way up here on this area of the knife. Whereas here, when they made this knife for the first release of the uh, hawk lock, they put it right in the middle. So It's got a three-way pocket clip for a tip-up. Tip up, tip down, but and 
also tip down on the uh, on the opposite side, but not tip up on that side on the on the opposite side. So it's a three way pocket clip. The open, nice open construction is what makes the knife so nice and light. Another thing I love about this knife is that sound that it makes. I don't hear that with any other knives. You can hear that. You know, it's like that ka-chunk sound in there. Never heard that. Uh, the thumb studs are just really fantastic. You can even middle finger flick it, like I've I've often done. But then again, I'm a big I'm a big knife flicker. So I'll actually take any knife and just sit there and do that all day long, uh, not use the thumb, you know, just, you know, makes it easy. There's a, the pocket clip on there is not a deep pocket clip, but it's as close as you possibly can. A little bit of the knife will stick out in your pocket. Uh, that's something else I have to admit as a knife guy. I am not a pocket clip user. I just put the knife in my pocket and make sure it's the only item in my pocket. Um... You know, so I just don't use pocket clip. I'm, you know, not a big, big user of pocket clips. There's only one other uh, other uh, reviewer that actually did an official review of this knife. Uh, and that guy, his name was uh, Bob from Knives Town. I don't know if you guys remember him. But he was way before Blade HQ, way before GP Knives. Um, you know, just way before a lot, a lot of people. He was already doing reviews and people really liked the sound of his voice. As far as I understand it, uh, they, they went out of business and uh, no longer um, were reviewing knives. So, really, really interesting offering. So, why don't we go ahead and uh, do some size comparison with this. Again, this knife is, uh, it's got 14C28N Sandvik steel. So, let's do some size comparison first with the uh, knife, one of the knives that uh, most of you guys do know, which is the uh, the Kershaw Injection Todd Rexford design. I'll actually do a review of this knife at a later date because all I did was complain about it being not about it not being 3.5 inches. Um, but yeah, there's a size comparison with the Kershaw Injection. Another size comparison on this knife. One that's about the same size as the Kershaw Ram. How about the how about the Spartaco Mantra? Uh, how about the a much bigger knife? So you can really see how what what size it is. It's actually a medium sized knife with a three point one inch blade, and this would be the uh, ZT uh, L Max. Uh, ZT801 black wash with a 3.5 inch blade. So you can see uh, size comparison. So this is 3.1 and that is uh, 3.5. And just for fun, because it's my favorite knife of all, Spyderco Swish Bowie at 3.4 inch blade length up against the 3.1 inch blade length knife. This gives you a good look. How about lastly, how about let's take a look at a very tiny knife, one of my favorites. Uh, Spyderco Chubby. So as you can see, it's a medium-sized knife. All right. Probably one of the lightest knives that Kershaw has ever released. I don't have a scale. That might be my next... Uh, my next step up in reviewing knives or going over my knives would be to get a, get a scale. Uh, but this is a very, very light knife. I couldn't even tell you in ounces. What's nice about the knife also is it's got really good jimping on it. It's got jimping on the top of the knife right there, right up in here. And it's also got jimping down here on the choil for really good grip. This knife makes an excellent slicer. As you can see, it's got an interesting swedge at the top there. So, and from the swedge, it comes down to a really nice point for piercing. So you can do a little piercing with this also. Really good knife. Very, very light. Um, again, you know, thumb studs are probably not aesthetically pleasing, but they are very, very practical. More practical than one thumb stud deal. In my opinion, just because, you know, 
your finger has more to grab onto rather than having something to worry about noticing when you're deploying. And that's one thing I noticed with thumb studs is it takes you a while for your thumb to find that comfort zone where you can just go up to it and open it up easy. Uh, but with the, with the, with the Kershaw Ram, because there's three thumb studs there, there's nothing to miss. You just do that and it's open. I don't even have to think about it. That's what I'm saying. So, so there you have it, guys. The Kershaw Ram designed by G&G Hawk and Sandvik Steel 14C28N. Okay, model number... Ram 1910, a Kershaw release from back 2005 until 2012 when they released them in the red boxes. So there you have it, the Kershaw Ram. And once again, this is Omar signing off. If you like what you see, please hit, please hit uh, like and subscribe at the bottom of my channel. I really would appreciate your support. Also, I welcome comments. Please leave your comments uh, on some videos. I want to see some comments on my videos. Uh, I do welcome any suggestions, um, what you think of the knife, or even just how you think I'm doing uh, as, a, as, a, as a reviewer of knives. Uh, the, again, these are not official reviews that I do. They're just a look back historically at what Kershaw has done. So basically my channel is dedicated to two things, the, be the beginning collector, and also uh, so we can take a look at where Kershaw has been where they are now and where they're going. It's basically what my channel is dedicated to. Uh, I want to give a few shout outs first uh, to my to two new subscribers, uh, which is uh, hi for uh, subscribing to my channel. Also, I want to thank John Lee for being my 42nd subscriber. Thanks again. And uh, also my biggest supporter of all, along with Jay and Ellis at iMac Collector, I want to thank uh, the Knife Beater, and my very good friend Lucas, who's been with me through my entire uh, Kershaw collecting experience. Uh, my very good friend Lucas, who I've met on eBay, he's a great guy. Also want to thank the Kershaw guy as well. So, so there you have it, the Kershaw Ram Model 1910. Please hit like and subscribe down, for, down at the bottom, and I do welcome your comments. I hope to hear from you guys soon, because I, re I really want to continue doing this. So... This is Omar signing off with yet another Kershaw discontinued knife review. Until next time, happy knife hunting, everybody. From Omar, the knife shark guy, have a good day and enjoy the rest of your day.